afternoon everybody welcome back my name is sam i just got off work hauled the track chipper back from the job to the house and i'm going to do a little product review video for you guys based on manual transmission you guys from the last generation you still know what one of those is but uh if you don't then you might learn a little bit in this video the majority of my trucks are all stick shifts so stick shift stick shift and then i have stick shift there i do have an automatic first gen that's a stick shift fourth gen is an automatic because the new automatics are way better than they used to be then I got two more six-speed trucks out front there. So I have two NV4500, which is the five-speed manual trans, two NV5600, which is the big bulky, real tough six-speed manual trans, and then my favorite would be the G56, which was the last manual transmission that Dodge or Chrysler, Fiat, whatever, had to offer in their trucks before they completely discontinued the stick shift line. And the reason it's my favorite, it's Mercedes Trans, it's aluminum case. Some people argue it's not as tough, but I've been beating on this one for quite a few years now and it's been holding up. And the shift pattern's nicer, the reverse is in good location, and it's a lot tighter of a transmission in my opinion. When it comes down to throwing a dual disc in front of in any stick shift, it seems to make the transmission quite a bit tighter. What I mean about that is it's harder to shift. So this truck, when I swapped it, it had 48,000 miles on it. The clutch was perfectly fine until I added some more power to it. Add more power to a common rail, the stock clutch does not hang on very long. So I just was smart about it and put a dual disc on it. Didn't know how much power I was going to add down the road, and I've added quite a bit. And that dual disc is held up, but it's made shifting quite a bit more of a struggle, mainly going into first, second, or reverse. And if you back up trailers, trying to shimmy into a tight job site, going into first and reverse often you don't want it to be that big of a pain so i've been battling that pretty much since i put it in there it's not too terrible but it's just enough to be kind of an annoyance better so i run mobile one uh 50 synthetic in trans and that makes shifting a lot nicer i even upgraded an already upgraded slave cylinder trying that to see if it would make it any better and i was kind of at my wits end of what stuff i could add to this thing to make it shift smoother into gear um, and a little bit more effortless like it should be because with a single disc they are smooth buttered shift even high miles ones I've found that they work very well so what I've come to try is I thought you know what maybe if I got some more leverage I'll put one of these things on the stick shift and I can get you know a little bit more leverage out of the sucker but this is nine bucks off Amazon and while I was looking for that and I was about to send it I thought what the heck this thing is sweet this is uh Quite a bit more expensive it's 150 bucks after shipping bought this one on ebay and i'll be quite honest with you guys i wasn't too pumped on this company's attitude and marketing strategy and customer relations so i was very hesitant to even buy one of these things off these guys and if there would have been somebody else that made them i definitely would have just went to them but this thing 150 bucks they do have a pretty nice spiel on how much it's better than the factory shifter based on uh, it's bigger, bulkier, it's easier to shift just based on the weight that it has. They do slightly mention it will be a little bit noisier than your stock one because it doesn't have a rubber isolator boot in there. So I was like, you know what, we'll, we'll try this thing out. I don't like the company that much already, but I, I sit in my truck enough, I would like to have a nice smooth shifter. Uh, the thing about it is it really stood out to me other than what else I said is it's three inches longer so it has a little bit better leverage so I'll go ahead and cut to the video of trying this out for the one day that I did and then we'll meet back up here to talk about it there we go. Right and we gotta see how she shifts it's still a little hard to get in the gear off the line but it's got a little bit more rattle to it and uh, definitely helps having that extra leverage I don't know if it's good for the trans but I don't know the clutch is adjusted like super truck and all, got my CB hanging here. Yeah, that dampener inside that old stick shift, the stock one, was very much worth it. Listen to that thing. It picks up so much transmission noise out of it. Yeah. It reminds me literally of your old Ford. You can, you can hear the shifter doing everything. <laughs> Having that little grommet down there, that rubber joint, that shifter really made a difference. This thing kind of sucks. Alright, we'll be there in another 40 minutes or so. Don't worry about that.
is the second day I've had that in there. It's definitely coming out. I did a 100 plus mile little towing mission earlier with it. You have no idea how annoying that is. You turn the radio up and it still overpowers you. Oh, yeah. That was a bad call. How much more noise this thing made not having that piece in there. Oh. Bummed that this didn't work out. I'm gonna see, I don't know. Maybe I put some Teflon or something in there. I'm gonna write the company and tell them it just, I don't know, for the price you pay for it and just, it amplifies the noise. We gotta get rid of that. There's no way I'm gonna run that. Dad was riding with me today too and he was, he was he's got a pretty high tolerance to annoying stuff because he hangs out with me. But he could not really take that thing. So I'm gonna put this one back in and I'm gonna probably order just a little extension thing for it so you just get a little bit more leverage like this one did. But I feel like I'll just try it. All right. As you guys could tell, it did the job just fine. No real complaints on the motor functions of this. Uh, the extra leverage definitely helped, but that is pretty much where it ended. Since it doesn't have a rubber isolator in it and normal transmissions, it'll either be on like the shifter knuckle at the end of this, or it'll be mid throw like the stock G56 shifter has. Um, it kind of causes a pretty aggressive vibration up this thing that only amplifies um, the more RPMs that you drive. So this thing, besides if you ever keep your hand on the shifter, I notice it kind of make my hand go to sleep because it's vibrating all the time, which I wasn't down for. And the god awful noise that it always produces just made me know, just know. So I went ahead and ordered one of these, actually ordered a couple of them because I ordered this one was the wrong thread pitch. That's why it's all jarred up. Normally it's all nice black anodized, but three and three quarter inch, $9 shifter extension. Let's hit the road and see how this one works out. It's quite a bit cheaper. What do we have to lose? All right, let's do a little shifting with the $9 four inch extension from Amazon and see if we get any better effects. Shifts a lot easier than the stock shifter did. I definitely am a big fan. I see the uh, idea of having a little bit more leverage with the G56. I see it working in our favor and I'm towing 25,000 pounds back there. Mixture of a common rail engine being more of a high rever G56, more of a high revving style transmission. Bog each of them down. You don't really have too much low end grunt out of a common rail versus an older engine. And the G56 has a lot more torque wind if you grunt kind of low end torque on it all the time. So it's definitely a higher revving thing. Now with this one, it is completely quiet. It is not making noise like that other shifter was. And we're getting the same effects for a significantly cheaper price. 150 bucks with shipping versus this thing, nine bucks shipped to your door two days. I definitely will take this any day over that other one. This is, it was nice to figure out and find out the answer for the other one on my own, but this is definitely more cost effective and you don't have a really, really annoying rattle that the other one generates. So this one's got my vote. Twenty five hundred RPM going up this hill or twenty two right now. That other one just be rattling to death. This one stone quiet. This one. Oh yeah. Spend your money wisely. Sometimes cheaper is better. There's a fourth gen fifty five hundred back there. Looks like he's got a utility box, gooseneck trailer. He's yeah, he's still on a mega cab. It looks like. I thought he was gonna try to eat me up going up this hill. I didn't. I thought he might have been a car hauler hauling a couple extra, but he just got one, so I definitely got more weight than he does. Let's see if I can bend him off. I guarantee you he's stocked too, so. Ah. Battle in the heat, battle in the heat. I'll turn it down one notch, that way I keep the RPMs up. There's bonus content for you guys. See how big of a cowboy is. If he wants to run it. 
Normally, if I'm towing around town and want to get up to speed kind of quick, I'll run it on tune four. It's got obviously more power, but if I'm towing up some pretty good grades, I'll put it on tune three so I can hold the grades at a higher RPM a little longer. No, it's not over fueling. 50 mile an hour. He couldn't hang. Dang. I ain't gonna try anymore. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. Judging by how he was acting before we got to that hill, he was wanting to battle. Oh, uh, anyway. All that 55 mile an hour battling. Too funny. I thought he was gonna get me just all in one pickup. Too slow, Sally, too slow. Must have been this new shifter. <laughs> See what he's hauling. Where'd he go? Oh, it's uh, well, he's got a decent setup on there. I'll give you guys one more through the gears. This thing helped a lot having that little bit extra leverage. I don't, I'm still not forcing it into gear or nothing. You know, I don't want thinking, oh, that extra leverage, you're gonna break something. I'm still respecting the transmission, but it's so much easier, so much easier. Gives a little bit better riding style too. Up a little bit better. All right, as you guys could tell, I definitely favored not only the price value of the, the $9 shifter thing from Amazon, but it doesn't have a bunch of noise. And it actually did help. Like I was really surprised at how much it helps. It gets your hand in a little bit better location. So you got obviously better leverage. And just all in all, it's a clean install. You don't have to take apart the bottom of your floor and you're not out 150 bucks. You can look at her here. I got this little extension uh, relocation for my exhaust brake. But other than that, you just remove the stick shift ball, put this thing on, screw it on the top. Easy peasy. Way cheaper, way more effective. I know it's kind of a silly video, but I'll be flat out honest with you guys. If somebody would have told me this several years ago when I first got the truck, I would have been like, huh, well, I'll go ahead and get one of those right now. I already put one on my red truck, which is a 9812 valve. It also has, I swapped a G56 into it. I noticed it shift better like that. It's a single disc, so I never had really any trouble with it, but it just makes it a little bit easier. And it's such a simple little stupid idea, but whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any other little quirks, ideas, little stupid things that you've done to make your ride a little bit better. Because at the end of the day, if you're gonna spend 10 minutes in the truck, a couple hours in the truck, you know, this thing makes me money. I'm sitting in it. I want to have a comfortable ride. I swapped out the seats with this thing. I put airbags on it. I've just, I've tried to do a bunch of stuff trying to make this thing more comfortable on daily missions, going to work and stuff. Because if you're gonna be sitting in it, you gotta be comfortable. We'll see you guys on the next one later on.